Okay, I'm gonna begin with a couple disclaimers. Um, first of all, my setup's pretty jank. I had to move my monitor from over there to right here. So I'm gonna try to do my best to cut out the segments where I'm gonna be looking over here and reading names because I wanna actually name the sites instead of just going this site here. Um, so yeah, so if I'm gonna do my best to edit that out, but if I leave a little bit of it in, I apologize. And uh, also, this list is 100% um, based entirely in fact and is not at all debatable or refutable. Uh, if you disagree with it, you are simply objectively wrong. All right, um, with that out of the way, let's begin with the, uh, the collimators, as they're called. Um, first, we have the Aimpoint Comp M4. This site is kind of the definition of just mediocre. The housing around it is very bad, but the reticle it has is incredibly good. It's decently cheap once you get the flea market, but ultimately I just don't like sites that have a large um, housing that completely blocks everything around you, especially with 1x red dots and the such. So because it has a very solid reticle, we're gonna put it in C tier but I really don't like the housing. Um, the Aimpoint Pro, in my opinion, is literally the exact same thing, but with an even worse housing, as it has the flip-up uh, covers that completely block everything above your site. So that can be fairly annoying. Otherwise, it's identical to the Aimpoint Comp M4. So into E tier it goes. First, we have the EXPS. 3-0, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this thing goes into S tier. It is my absolute favorite site in the game. It is wonderful to run. It's a very clean optic, and it looks very, very nice. So, yeah, I think with all that, it's perfectly deserving of S tier. Then things kind of start to go off the rails. We have the tan one, which is very solid. It fits excellent with tan man loadouts, tan MDRs, and the such. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to obtain, but it looks very nice, so we're gonna put it in A tier. It still has a very solid reticle. Then we have the 553 site, which is still a very, very nice site. It still looks pretty solid. It's a bit less attractive than some of the other sites, but you know, the reticle is still incredibly solid, and it's still, it looks good. You know, it's not a bad looking site, so I think since it can't really compare with the tan site or the EXPS 3-0, I think it's fair to put it in B tier. Then we have the EXPS 3 dash, it's either the dash one or the dash, the one that has the two dots. Why? Why does it have two dots in its reticle? It's too busy, it's ugly, I hate it. The only thing that keeps this site even remotely on this tier list, the only thing keeping it out of F tier is that it looks very nice. So I'm gonna have to put it into D tier, because why do you need the two dots? You don't. It just makes everything busier, it makes it harder to see things. Why? So yeah, I think it's perfectly fair to put this thing into D tier. Um, we're just gonna knock out a few other ones. Uh, that really expensive Razor site, this one right here. Yeah, this one also goes into D tier because it's just too big, it's too clunky, it tends to be more expensive, and its reticle isn't nearly as clean, in my opinion, as the EOTEX. And then also in D tier we have the Russian PK-120. Its optic is, its reticle is worse, it's not nearly as attractive, it's literally just a direct downgrade to the EOTEX in every single way. So is the uh, the Kritschot, or Krakot, I don't know how to say it. It's also just a downgrade of an optic, and we are going to put it into E tier. And the final EOTEC wannabe is the Romeo 8T site. Just use, just use an EOTEC, just use the EX, EXPS3. Uh, it's a very nice site, it looks far more attractive, and it just has better reticles in my opinion. Then we have the OKP-7. It's the one that fits on the dovetail and has the very clean green reticle. I don't know what it is, I really love this site. It is my absolute favorite to run on anything that ha has a dovetail mount, and it's pretty inexpensive. So I believe that it is firmly deserving of an S tier. Then we have its cousin, 
the okay p7 that mounts onto picatinny which is <sighs> using this sight makes your gun cursed the nipple sight aptly named because of its reticle is perfectly deserving of sub f tier trash i would never use this thing seriously it is far too busy it is incredibly ugly to look at and i absolutely despise it so yeah it is sub f tier garbage a few other sites obviously we have the ekp or the the cobra site very solid site um honestly it just it goes onto your picatinny it has fairly solid reticles it gives you plus one ergo if you put the shade on it and it's very inexpensive so i think that a tier is an apt place for it uh we also have the dovetail version i'm just gonna put that in b tier since if it can use the dovetail i'm gonna be using the okp7 but it's still a very solid site especially when mounted to the dovetail so you know whatever i think b tier is fine then we have the, you know, that shotgun sight that only fits on shotgun barrels. Eh, it's okay. Eh, I don't know anyone who would actually buy this thing to use it. If you find it and you can throw it on your shotgun, sure. I don't know if I would ever actually go out and buy it. So, in my opinion, it is really just deserving of being dropped into C tier because, you know, if I find it, I'll pick it up and use it. If I don't have it, I don't really care. Then we have the Weaver Red Dot. This thing is, once again, it's kind of the epitome of just, this is a sight you can use. It's not bad, it's not good, it's floatier than I like, but its reticles are decent. It's relatively inexpensive and scams can spawn with it, meaning you can find it sometimes or you can just spawn with it. And I'm not gonna complain if I spawn with it, but I would never really go out and buy this. Another one like that is the, the SRS site right here. It's a decent site. It has a very solid reticle, but the housing is just a bit too much for me. It's a bit too big and circular and blocks too much of my screen when I'm aiming. So I'm not a big fan of that, but as far as sites go, not terrible. I'm, I'm going to put it in C tier. The Walther Red Dot, you know, it's not fantastic, but it's pretty solid. It's very inexpensive, solid reticle. They fixed the bug associated with it. I have used this early wipe, mid wipe, late wipe, if I'm especially hard up for cash. So yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a solid B tier. I, I, I'd, I'd happily use this. Uh, now we're gonna go through a few of the other ones I I don't think I covered yet, but they are uh, absolute due to garbage. Uh, rounding off E tier, we have the Obazor, this thing. You're not using this unless you are scraping the bottom of the barrel. You are searching in between the couch cushions for pennies, and that is the only reason you would ever use this thing. As a matter of fact, you don't have an iron sight. That is why you are using this thing. There is no other situation where you would use this. It's just, it's, it's, it's really just a bad site. I don't like it. It's, it's pretty terrible. And I'm sure there are a few people that stand by this site and think it is one of the greatest ones in the game. Uh, this is one of the few times I'm just going to tell you you're wrong. <laughs> like everyone's entitled their opinion but that one is just not the right opinion it's such a bad sight absolutely hate it uh but it is just barely over iron sights however what are below iron sights are the the belomo site this thing right here um super big housing super inexpensive the only reason you're ever going to use this thing is if you don't have iron sights, you're missing the barrel of your gun, you're hoping to just add weight to this thing because you want to use it as a club. This thing is atrocious, it is the worst tunnel sight you could- is, it gives you the worst tunnel vision possible, especially from a red dot. I really don't like this sight. Um, then we have something that brings shame to the EOTech name. I hated the one with two dots, but now we have the magnifier with three dots and it increases your recoil for some reason. I, it's just, uh, if you ever see someone using this site, just assume that they're brand new to the game and they thought it looked cool and then it got them killed. If they were to dial back the recoil that is added whenever you put one of these things on, I don't think that's a myth. I think that's a genuine problem with this thing. And they got rid of two of the dots and made it just a single dot with the magnifier. I would rock this thing 
every single raid everywhere now this thing goes straight to mechanic whenever i find it absolutely garbage site hate it so much f tier then there's the hollow sun an argument could be made for this site but I am a man of the people, and the people voted, so this thing goes into F tier. And then the Lepers UTG site. Similar thing to the Hollow Sun, except I actually don't like this one that much. I don't understand why you wouldn't use anything else that is available to you. F tier. Not a fan. Alright, to quell the anger of some of the people that I probably just pissed off, um, I believe I'm going to say something that I think we can all agree on, and that is that the Delta Point site is the absolute meta right now and is the best site in the game probably it's definitely deserving of being an s tier all the people who rock the meta use it all the people who don't rock the metal want to use it it's just a really good site and it completely took over when the pko6 got nerfed so yeah i think it's perfectly fair to put this thing into s tier and i believe it completely belongs there following the delta point is the site that i actually use a lot it's my favorite site if you watch my videos you'll see it all the time and that is the romeo 4 site i don't know it might be personal bias i really really love this site i don't think it's quite on the delta point um i don't think it's any better than a lot of sites if i'm being honest i think a lot of people actually really hate it and i don't really blame them but i cannot bring myself to dislike this site i absolutely love it not gonna put an s tier i don't think it's quite that high but i'm gonna put it in a tier i use this thing all the time i use it pretty effectively on a good day it costs thirteen thousand rubles on a bad day it costs 19. so yeah i i really i really really like this site i think it's perfectly deserving of an a tier slot then you have these sites that are similar to this one and go on the same mounts but are not quite the same and they have worse housings and this one's super cheap anyways so you might as well use this one so for that reason we're gonna put the micro t1 and micro h2 i want to say um into c tier because the romeo simply exists and it's super cheap and there's no reason not to use it over one of these unless it's super early in the wipe where then the, the micros that they can do a very solid job so early wipe absolutely usable later wipe just use a delta point or a romeo so i'm, I'm i think i think c is a fair place to put them then there's the burris fast fire the best way to describe this this uh site in my opinion is that it's just unremarkable it really doesn't do anything to stand out i don't know i used it it's a very solid site and i'm pretty sure you have it from the get-go so definitely use this thing if you want a solid site and don't like the delta point or the romeo this thing is pretty solid i don't think it's deserves it's at all better than those other ones but it's not bad so i think b tier is a nice place to put it uh then we have the rmr which i mentioned earlier which i believe belongs in d tier because the the reticle is incredibly floaty it almost floats outside of the viewing box thingy gun nerds are gonna be pissed off i don't know what it's called um the sight picture oh yeah I, I i don't like it that much the only the only time it's ever used really is on a 5.7 because i'm pretty sure it fits onto that i'm pretty sure there's a mount specifically for the 5.7 that this thing goes on but you will never see it used on a rifle you'll never see it used in literally any other circumstance because it's just it's too floaty and i don't like it at all and uh in d tier as well as the pk06 it's an incredibly cheap um site but i just hate so much what they did to this thing this thing used to be oh this thing used to be such a wonderful it used to cost sixty-four thousand rubles just to get this thing on the flea market and they absolutely killed it they killed the reticle they made it too fat they made it too see-through it doesn't it's just my, my nostalgia makes it so i cannot use this site whatsoever so yeah it's gonna it's gonna chill in d tier because it's still usable to a certain extent early wipe and the fact that it is only eight thousand rubles definitely helps its case but oh they just massacred this poor thing so d tier and then in e tier we have the boxy site the uh a acro p1 why would you ever use this it's not a very attractive site um 
and it's very boxy and it blocks out more than the rest of them do and it's not really all that much cheaper if i remember correctly at least when i bought mine it wasn't e tier i really I, there's not much of a reason to use this thing and then in a uh, in f tier the absolute bottom of the barrel we have the p90 stock sight i don't know who thought it was a good idea to put a steering wheel as a reticle but it's absolutely terrible and i hate it so much and i don't it, ugh, I'd rather be using the backup iron sights on the P90, and those are absolutely terrible. So that should tell you how much I hate this thing. So yeah, F tier. All right, now onto the assault scopes. First we have the, uh, the 2.5X. I don't really know why you would ever use this thing. It's just not very good. It's, it doesn't, it, it doesn't offer enough zoom to really be usable at range, and it's too much zoom to really be usable up close. So it sits in this average middle ground area of mediocrity and sadness. Um, so yeah, I believe it is deserving of just dropping straight down into F tier. I would never ever use this thing. All right, and then um, this one might be a little controversial because I know in real life these are like really, really good sights. Um, but in Tarkov, I just, they're not that great. We have both versions of the ACOG, the 4X and the 3.5X. I don't know why they're so bad in this game. I mean, they're okay for range, but you really gotta be just tap firing super far out. And there are other sites that just do that job better. So I wouldn't really ever use them. The thing, the one thing I will say about them is they seem to maintain, uh, I believe it's called the eye box where you don't see black. That seems to, they seem to hold on to that the best, especially the 3.5X. You almost never see black around the edges. So that is pretty solid. That's the thing that kind of keeps them from a lower ranking but I'm gonna put them in C tier because they really just don't seem to have a place in Tarkov right now, which sucks because they're very attractive sites. Also, the backup site on the top of them is the RMR, and for whatever reason, it absolutely bounces all over the place when you put it on top of one of these. So yeah, don't recommend doing that. It's it's very bad. Um, Suffering from a similar issue is the Bravo 4. Once again, you don't have any variable zoom. You can put something on top of it, but for whatever reason, I've been told there's a bug. I'm not sure. Sites that go on top of like the Bravo and the um, the ACOGs, they have a lot more recoil than they're supposed to. I'm not sure if that's true. I have not fact checked that. That is simply some information that has been given to me. But I really feel it because, holy crap, when you put a backup site on top of one of these things, it's unusable. It's it's atrocious. You have to you have to buy either a canted site or just spray from the hit, um, which would honestly probably be better right now in Tarkov. But yeah, the Bravo doesn't really have much of a place. It's more expensive than some of the other options. I really don't like it. I think D tier is a fair place. All right, moving into the territory of sites that I would actually use. Um, first, we have the Monstrum 2X. I really like this site due to the fact that it gives you just enough zoom to really handle a few issues that are further out, but it's also not so drastic and it allows you to deal with stuff close up. Obviously, of course, you can put a additional site on there, but I think that the Monstrum is just a very solid pick if you don't want to do that. And yeah. It's not a bad site, so I think that B tier is... I think I think it belongs in B tier. I would happily run this. And then we have the, the Elcan. I used to really love the Elcan. It has, in my opinion, one of the best reticles in the game. So I don't think I can in good conscience put it in A or S tier, like I probably would have before. But I think it's still fairly usable, so B tier seems like a good spot for it. Then we have the Hammer. Supposedly, it suffers from that same extra recoil when you put a delta point on top of it, but the hammer is just a very, very attractive scope, so I'm willing to let it slide, and I'm going to put it into A tier. And then we have the Valade, which is probably one of the best assault scopes in the game, and is very deserving of going into A tier. I don't think any of the assault scopes deserve to go into S tier, but I think that Quite a few of them are very nice. 
All right, now getting into the long range scopes. First, we have the uh, the Burris 1 to 4x. Um, yeah, it's a solid sight. It goes on to a lot of meta mutants and the such because the 4x is quite good and the 1x is also very solid. It doesn't feel too terrible just to aim with that at close quarters. So yeah, I can see why people use it. I'm not a huge fan of the reticle. I think it's a little bit busy. That's why it's not going to go into S tier, but I think it's more than deserving of A tier. Um, going into S tier is going to be the Voodoo and the brown voodoo they're both yeah they have very they're just solid sites there's not really too much to say about them everyone who's used them knows that they are fully well deserving of being an s tier and the flea market prices reflect this so yeah i'm gonna put them both into s tier then we have the one to eight x um voodoo it's like the the something in schmidt the i don't know i just have a tan voodoo um this would have been either A tier or S tier, but I used it and I realized that it drops your mouse sensitivity to the same amount on 8x as it does on 1x. So in order to move two inches on one times variable zoom, you are dragging your mouse across your entire mouse pad just to move it a tiny bit. Good luck flicking, that thing is gonna go into D tier. As a sniper scope, it's pretty good, it's solid, it gives you good magnification, and it has a decent reticle. As a long range sniper scope, I would put it in B tier, but to use it for what most people use these sights for, it's dropping into D, E, or F tier. It's just not good at that. <laughs> then we have the Mosin PU 3.5X. I don't know why this is in this category, but um, you can't really fault it. It's a piece of glass with three wires sticking in for a reticle. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's very solid as an early game sniper um, scope. So we're just gonna put it in C tier. There's not really another place I can put it. And the same kind of goes to the PSO scopes. They're just average. There's not really another place I can put them. I mean, they're solid for long range sniping, but the only reason you're ever really gonna use these is if you're LARPing and using an SVD or a VSS, which I've done and is very fun. But for everything else, I think they belong in C tier, and I don't really think there are too many people that are going to complain. All right, and then we're gonna talk about all of these super high magnification scopes, the super big ones. There's really not a situation in Tarkov right now where you need that much zoom. A Voodoo will get you by just fine. The only exception I'm going to make is the March Tactical 3-24, to it's uh, this one. Solely because I was up on dome and I cracked a couple of heads with an M700 and this thing, but honestly, the only reason I did that is it was because it was roughly a quarter of the price of a Voodoo at the time. Otherwise, I would have just bought a Voodoo. So, yeah, other than the March Tactical one, which I'm going to put in B tier, everything else can kind of just go into E tier because there's really not much of a point to having that much zoom right now in Tarkov. A Voodoo will do just fine, and it's far more applicable to a lot of other situations. And then um, going along with all those in E tier is the NPZ 1P78-1. It's uh, this little green, this little guy. Um, yeah, this thing's just bad. I don't know why you would ever use this, and um, uh, j bad. <laughs> just bad. Yeah, E tier, it's just bad. And then uh, F, F tier, we have the 1P59 and the 1P69. I'd rather be using a PSO or literally everything else. I don't like these that much. And uh, rounding off this whole thing, we have the CCTV camera site. Using this thing is a meme or cursed. So that should tell you all you need to know. It goes below F tier. And then the other below F tier is the NPZ USP, the sometimes night vision, sometimes just really ugly upside down reticle sight. If I ever see this on a gun, it's coming off immediately. This thing is absolutely terrible. Need I say more? Sub F tier. And then, finishing off this incredibly long doozy list, um, we have the special optics. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna round off the sub F tier trash with the uh, the NSPU site. 
Ooh, ooh. Does anyone ever actually use this thing? It's the night vision scope, it's just... Why? Why would you ever torture yourself to use this thing? The only time anyone has ever used this thing seriously is if they were trying to reduce recoil so, um, to the maximum amount possible for the meme. And the only reason this thing reduces recoil is because it is so monstrously heavy, so monstrously bulky, and it takes up half your screen. This thing is garbage, and it belongs in the cursed category below F tier. And then finally, we have the, the thermal holographic site. I just cannot think of a situation where this is actually useful, unless you're trying to find a body that's dead or something. That's kind of it, because it doesn't have enough range to really give you an early warning on a group of people, and it doesn't have a decent enough refresh rate to really replace a hollow or a red dot, so it really just doesn't have a use, in my opinion. So I think E tier is a fine place for it to go. In D tier we have the Vulcan Night Scope. It has a solid reticle and it can sometimes do the job, but only if you are hard committing to sniping. Yeah, I really don't recommend using this thing. Maybe if you're hunting Sturman, maybe if you're memeing, or maybe if you're camping in a corner or watching uh, the marked room or um, watching drop down or something like that. Yeah, okay, maybe you can use this, but 90% of the time, it's just not gonna help you out much. So I think D tier is fine. Then we have the MP155 thermal camera. Is it helpful sometimes? Yes. Is it funny to use? Yes. Is it very gimmicky? Yes. I think C tier is a fine place for it. And then shooting into S tier, we have the FLIR and the REAP IR because thermals are absolutely completely brokenly overpowered and anyone who says otherwise is lying to themselves. Um, so yeah. Well, that is gonna round off this absolutely incredibly huge list. I apologize if it was a little jank to see me holding the mouse the entire time and kind of rubbing it against my legs so that I could actually see what I was talking about. But this was an incredibly long list and there is no way I could have possibly done this from memory. Um, I'll go through editing, try to make it as streamlined as possible, but in case I leave a little bit of funky stuff in there, hopefully it was still enjoyable. Um, also, this was completely based in opinion. Um, I did have a vote in my, di in my Discord, so join that if you would like to be a part of our little democracy on ranking things. Um, but yeah, all opinion. What I said earlier was a joke. For those of you that didn't pick up on it, I'm hoping most of you did. And uh, the next tier list should hopefully be clothing, so be sure to join my Discord if you would like to voice your opinion on that. But other than all that, honestly just thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of this absolutely stupidly long video. That really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching again all the way to the end, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.